and welcome to the final video for now in the farming analysis uh, mini series um, today trial 120 um, so this one trial 120 I wasn't initially looking forward to that much because it's always in a cave but uh, I was quite surprised that Playing on mobile with Frostbeam, it's actually quite enjoyable once you get the you get the hang of it and moving and hiding behind rocks and things and using those to channel mobs into the beam. Um, the analysis follows exactly the same process as the other three videos in this series, so exactly the same slides, exactly the same information being presented. Um, at 120 there's quite a big change to what we've seen before but you'll see that very soon um so first of all i'm going to drop in three clips from uh the farming so you can just see some of the different things that i tried out on the way in doing this analysis i'm just coming to prepare today's video and i've realized i didn't have any footage from uh, running a death from above build for troll 120 um, this run's going to be on pc rather than go and fire up mobile and record a run there and have to transfer it over um, but it gives me a chance just to show you this overpowered setup uh, because i've got a load of uh, celestials in the build um, but it's basically on the abilities standard for ELR death from above then endurance glass cannon and power infusion um, I expect this run to go much more quickly than it would on mobile the fastest I achieved on that was 3 minutes 45 um, purely because you have to do far smaller pulls on mobile because the device just can't handle large numbers of mobs so it's pulling mobs death from above to uh, take them out but I did settle on running uh, with a frost beam build in the end as it is so much faster at this level bring car around here just because there's a mob up the top I don't want to bring it in with a shatter as you can see death from above on Kara just she's got so much uh, toughness and hit points at this level that she's gonna take a while to kill Firing that death from above early just because the talisman of power was still up. Slayer's now up, so we'll try and make use of that. So two and a half minutes on PC it's um, add another minute on for mobile um, death from above does most damage out of all the skills by quite some way on uh, 120 
Um, so other clips will be from mobile with a frostbeam build. So here we go with Troll 120 uh, EXP build but with Frostbeam. It's not a proper Frostbeam build because I don't have full frost on everything. Um, you can see that I have got two healers for this run um, and it was during this run that I decided I need to scrap one of the healers, waste a a frost beam there, schoolboy error on mobile. I did beam and then vortex instead of vortex and beam. So, moving now to try and get things in a line in front of me. Um, then, almost died, so I realized I've got to take this extra careful uh, in terms of how many mobs and how many hits I take. So, try not to pull too many, try and use the fact that we're always in a cave. And some of those rocks to hide behind to get out a line of sight uh, so vortex beam and then we can hide behind the rock to stop them attacking and keep moving back to keep some range so that none of these missiles come flying in and also by moving back we're keeping we're sort of getting the mobs to move into a line and walk into the beam as much as possible. So, so far so good. Um, lost aggro there for a moment. There's not many of them, so ignore and move on. Pull in the next group, which should be enough to spawn Kara, I think. That vortex didn't pull in as many mobs as you'd expect. That's something that's happened with the recent update that vortexes aren't as useful as they used to be. Uh, and then we just got these four to take down with one last beam and Kara will spawn. There she is. So I'm just waiting for Frostbeam to come up plus her sword attack to go. And this first one doesn't do too much damage. Um, but now we've got the Talisman of Power propped and we can see that her health goes down considerably from that one. And again, it's just wait for a sword attack before we use the beam again. And there we can go. And that should be enough to take her out. And it's done. So this is a run of Troll 120 but with my full push gear so it's uh, way too overpowered for uh, running 120 um, but we're on mobile so this is going to be good for farming. Uh, we're always in a cave on 120 so I can just happily run around. That vortex wasn't recognised, it's one of the reasons that I dropped it for my troll 110 runs um, but this character has got about 1.9 million toughness so no real danger of dying um, as long as I'm careful not completely stupid in the way that I play um, so we're just gathering up a group of mobs they're all over the place at the moment so I'm going to move off to the side and use the rocks to let them channel into this beam they're still all rather scattered so I'm going to head up between another rock and hopefully the beam will then swing between the two channels to take them out um, starting to get low on the mobs there so it's not worth hanging around for them pull in the rest of the mobs that should be enough to spawn Kara once they've been dealt with. So we'll do a vortex, beam these down. Not quite enough to spawn her just yet. So another vortex, another beam, and this should be enough. 
there she is and then uh, talisman of storms as proc so we're getting a lot of critical hits from the beam and then a critical thermal shock is enough to take her out in one go uh, so that's the build that i ended up using for the rest of the farming so that last run was uh, one of the slower ones actually from the push build that i did on mobile uh, I think the fastest was 73 seconds. I was averaging around 90 seconds. So um, it was it was still good to do. Um, my preference when I'm farming is to be getting experience at the same time. So um, I still like Death From Above farming at Troll 100. Um, but that's not the purpose of this series. This series is about looking at the drops that we get from various trials and seeing what we get. So let's move on and take a look at the first slide and the total drops that we received. And here we are. Immediately we can see no epics whatsoever at Troll 120. Everything is legendary. Um, a fairly even split between legendary and legendary set items uh, the drop away from level 70s as well nowhere near as severe as we've seen in some of the lower trolls um, I don't think there's too much else to say on this slide um, again feel free to pause the video and take down any numbers if they're of any interest to you but I think we'll drop all, uh, drop into the next slide and take a look at some of the other details um, with previous lower trials this slide had a bit of use it's become a bit pointless at uh, trial 120 0 percent epics 100 percent legendary uh, I had 48% were legendary and 51.3% legendary set so this final little table as well again is going to be exactly the same as uh, the percentages table because we don't need to take into consideration epics or epic set so I think we can move on fairly quickly from this one so our total drops we see um, level 70s far fewer of those than even at uh, 110 we've dropped down to just under 42 percent now at level 70s um, as i mentioned earlier the drop off isn't anywhere near as severe as it has been on lower trials um, and we're got over a three and a half percent chance of a 75 or above I mean six level 75s 576 is and six level 77s in the 150 runs so uh, it was nice to see those dropping out obviously that's six out of 450 items were level 77 um, but there are there were a few usable ones in there although I've salvaged them purely for this analysis um, average item level for both legendary and legendary set both came out 71.2 and our overall is 71.2 uh, as we move on to the next slide so our salvage um, essences are considerably higher than we've been seeing on lower trials um, and they're considerably higher than we saw at 110 as well um, obviously this is because everything is now legendary so uh, we get far more greater essences out of them um, I, as usual i won't bother with these figures over on the individual essence types so just look at the converted to greater essence figures so fire 494 at 32.9 every 10 trials um water 988 65.9 per 10 trials air 580 at 38.7 shadow 535 at 35.7 and earth 628 at 41.9 per 10 trials um so once again 
way more water than anything else. Um, shadow and air, not too bad out of uh, the runs. Fire could be better, but it's lagging behind the others, um, which can be a problem for crit builds. Um, Earth, again, it's not got that much use and it's the second highest. Um, but I don't think there's much else to say on this except to say that these are much better figures than we get at lower trials, but that's to be expected. And finally, the other salvage items. Um, cured leather, 310 overall, so 20.7 per 10 trials. Uh, that's quite a bit better than saw at trial 110. Enchanted leather, 68 at 4.5 per batch again that is better than at 110 silk 2370 so 158 of them per batch that's uh, a lot better than the other trolls that we've seen marker titans looking very nice at 456 so 30.4 per 10 trolls so basically three per trial run um this is an interesting figure. Iron bars 452 at 30.1 per batch. That is almost 100 fewer than I got at Troll 110. Um, I'm not sure the reason for that at this stage. It's something I'll have to look into a bit more later. Uh, same with Mithril 56 at 3.7 per batch. That's considerably worse than at Troll 110. And finally, Nightcloth 322 at 21.5 per batch. So that is a lot better than at Troll 110. Um, hopefully you found this mini-series useful. Um, I'm going to be focusing on Troll 100 quite a lot over the coming week purely because the War Supplies event that's currently ongoing has got a really good experience bonus and my experience farmer running Troll 100 is pulling in over 250 million experience every run. Um, and when I need almost 11 billion experience to level up, then getting 1 billion every four runs is really nice. So that's what I'll be focusing on and also capturing the information because I will be doing at least 450 runs of all of these uh, four trials again. Um, and once I've got those done then we'll release some final analysis videos um, if you've got any questions comments suggestions just want to say hello feel free to put it in the comments down below and thank you very much for watching